Hi, it's Alex. Today I want to talk about indoor temperatures, and I want to talk about a change that I think we could make in our society that would be really beneficial both in terms of saving energy and money, and in terms of making life more convenient for people. A lot of indoor environments are kept at more or less the same temperature year-round. I hear a lot of people talk about how 72 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 22 degrees Celsius, I think, they say that 72 is kind of the ideal temperature for people. And on average that might be true, but the thing is, we're pretty adaptable. And we also, as we go through the day, we go indoors and outdoors and so on. And 72 degrees for an indoor temperature, for me, in winter, feels very hot. And the reason is that when I go outside, it's really cold outside, so I'm putting on multiple layers. Like, it's not even the heart of winter, and I have a t-shirt, and then on it, top of it, I have a flannel, and in winter, I might put a sweater on, or a hoodie on top of that, and then I might have another layer of, like, a coat. And when I'm outside, and then I come in, if the indoor environment is pretty warm, I have to take off a lot of those layers. So it's time-consuming, whereas if the indoor environment is just a little bit cooler in winter, it makes it a little bit less work. And I tend to like an indoor environment in winter of about 65 degrees Fahrenheit. That's typically how I set my thermostat, uh, if given the choice. I think that works out to be about 18 degrees Celsius for you Celsius people out there. In summer, on the other hand, it goes the other way. It's very hot outside, so I tend to be wearing shorts, short sleeves, things like that. And I don't want to come inside to a frigid air-conditioned environment. And if it's 95 outside, and I'm just wearing shorts and a t-shirt, and I come inside and it's 72, that is going to feel really frigid, because my body is adjusting to that hot temperature outside. So in the summer, I tend to like to keep the indoor environment at the very coldest, 75, but I prefer it to actually be warmer, especially as it goes up. So if it's one of those days where it's like 95 degrees outside, I really don't want it to be any cooler than 80 degrees inside. Now what are the, the benefits of this? They are twofold. They are saving energy and money, because if you have AC and you set the thermostat higher, you have to pay less for cooling costs. And if you have uh, heating costs and you set the thermostat lower, then you pay less for heating costs. So you save money, save energy, protect the environment. That's the one benefit. The other benefit is convenience. You have to do less work changing the layers. I see this as a pretty straightforward issue. I would really like us to make this change in society as a whole. So if you're someone who you run an office workplace, whatever, you're in charge of the thermostat, try this out. You can ask people. I have found that the majority of people that I talk to also agree with me, so I have no idea why we keep things at this fixed temperature of 72 degrees. It doesn't really make sense to me. That's what I have to say. Uh, yeah, I hope this has been helpful. Thank you.